Yo! Video games. Um... Alright, let's just, uh, see how the fuck it goes. I know very little. You're about to start a new game. Uh, yes, I did fire it up to see how the game ran. Uh, yes. Delete the shit out of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the notifications for now. Just a quick mute. Uh, and I'm guessing we're just gonna... Recommended for players who enjoyed the difficulty of the previous game. Oh, so this is normal. Jesus Christ. Someone just fall down some stairs? Yeah, we played Evil Within 1 like three years ago. Three years ago. Okay, so I'm gonna play on casual because I hear casual is for truly, truly, truly depraved people. Nightmare. Oh my god, here we go. Beep. Not happening. Hello, running. Okay, let's just make sure the graphicals are graphicking. They seem to be graphicking. Uh, there's, like I said, there's a stutter every once in a while. I just noticed where the subtitles are. Uh, maybe this might be a better layout. Maybe this might be a better layout. Uh, yeah, the fire does look pretty good. There's, there's a pretty significant depth of field going on right now. What do you think, chat? Oh, uh, we'll just stick with this one. We'll see where the subtitles start popping up. Yeah, I think I think Sebastian's voice actor is absolutely different. Oh God, Lily! He does not sound the same. He's not as gruff. Ah! Fire indeed hot. Damn it. <sighs> Lily, I'm here. Where are you? Oh god, a ship stairs. God, a ship stairs. <laughs> There's no more movie bars. Yeah, they're gone. Meat. Banana. Scary fucking banana. Yeah, I have to save Billy. That's what it is. How did this happen? Okay, I got Leon's kick. This is good. Coming, Lily. Just hold on. Save the banana. I think we'll be good. I'm here, Lily. I'm here. Crooch. Lily. Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here! You weren't here for me, Dad. Jesus Christ, it's turned into a Hideo Kojima fever dream. I was expecting a whale. I think Sebastian looks like Keanu Reeves in this game. It's weird. Ah! Kidman? 
Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? Yes! And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. But calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was going to happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me... about Mobius. Damn, faces look great! Oh fuck, it's agents. Agent Jerry and Larry. I'm here because of this. Where did you get this? Shit! <laughs> Lily's still alive. Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! Jerry, I swear to God! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's I'm in a Lily? wheelchair. Patience. All your answers are right here. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was... an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? <clears throat> Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Wesker. The new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. 
He does look a lot like G-Man, doesn't he? Yeah. Weird. Stem went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Stem entry in three, two, one. Yeah, I'm digging this intro, like, a lot. Please be a title screen. Please be a- Fuck yes, I called it! Oh, fuck, that felt good! Oh, that shit felt good! <laughs> Sorry. I've had a few. That was the perfect fucking spot for a title screen, holy shit. Oh. Is this... Yeah, I'm kind of digging, like, the problem with the first game is that it was really hard to follow. Like, story-wise, I mean, I remember the evil dickhead. I remember the daughter. I remember some events, but... I'm coming, Lily! I don't remember a lot. I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No! No! I'll never accept it. Yeah, this is the PC oh, version. I'll find out the Running on Ultra. On I have a 10-core uh, oh, processor and a 1080 Ti. For posterity. I'm not bragging. Also kind of bragging. Ah! Detective. My eyes! Got a call. All units, all units, 1199. Exploit cover code 3. Beacon mental hospital. So, I'm thinking, I, get, I heard Mikami isn't the director of this one. My eyes! Ah! Yeah, I have a, uh, I've got a 10-core processor to compensate for my huge penis. Hello? John Johannes, what the hell? Hello? It's like an all-Japanese crew in this... Are you there? K-1 
Completely American name. What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? There's a dirty Neko out there. Well, that was, I mean, the whole point of it was, it was kind of very Matrixy in the first game, too. From what I remember, you were in the mind of a killer. And it was, you were pretty much susceptible to all of his horrific ways in the nightmare. Or in his, uh, his stem, whatever the heck it was actually called. Yeah, this thing, I guess this is the new save room. Dirty Neko. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? A relic from a pre-phone camera era. Hundreds of years past. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room! Uh, I'll see if that- I'll probably keep that up for maybe the next two sequences and then I'll get bored. Uh... That dirty fucking Neko. Ah. Uh. Oh my. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. <laughs> Point taken. I don't know if I- I can't- I, I remember Sebastian's bo voice absolutely being different. Oh, but Mecco's got something for me. Is this your cat goop? It's gross, and it usually comes from dead enemies, but if you collect it, you can use it to obtain increased abilities. Thanks, kitty. Thanks, Neko. It's a game made by Japanese people. It's a fucking Neko. Uh, take the cactus. Now, I'm getting some minor frame rate stutters every once in a while. I don't know if it's loading or not. Does anyone... Has anyone that's actually watched this game on other people's streams, have they found, like, a proper, uh... Decent graphics configuration? I'm thinking that maybe something on either Borderless or full screen or some shit like that... ...is messing it up. Cause I'm dropping, like, five frames every once in a while. Uh, I'm wondering if I just have to drop something in here. I don't know. You haven't noticed any stutters? Everyone else seems okay? Weird. I have seen the frame issues on early PC builds. Okay. So it, you're the only one. <laughs> uh, it, it could be the borderless. You know what? I might as well just take off borderless to see what happens. Uh, let's just do full screen. And let me actually confirm it changed to full screen. No, that's still borderless, man. Hold on a sec. No, it is saying, it's saying full screen. How weird. It's on an SSD. Yeah, it is on a fast hard drive. Or it's on it's on a hybrid SSD. Uh, FOV is all the way up. We'll see. If I run into it again, I might tinker with some settings. Uh, save terminals can be used to save your progress. Okay.
That is a funny looking logo. My audio sounds kind of weird. Well, you're the only one who has said anything. So I'm only going to assume you're full of shit. Uh... Did I actually save it? I did. Yeah, why not? That's the mirror that you usually use in the first game, I'm only assuming. Stars! This cat looks... I'm not... Meow! Hey, what am I missing here? Usually this thing is what brings you into the hospital back in, like, the first game. I need ink ribbons to save, I know, right? See that right there? Did you see that? Dropped, like, five or six frames. Anyway. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I did it there, too. What the fuck? I wonder if it's something with, uh, some weird... either tessellation thing? We'll see. What the fuck am I missing here, chat room? I am slightly buzzed. I mean, I am absolutely had a lot of water. Yeah, we can't play past chapter six, that's the idea. Am I missing a room? Holy shit, you can... I need to make the camera maybe go a bit faster. Bruh! Touch the computer? No. Wait. Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. Oh. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Yeah, they're all dead. Chapter 2? What the hell? Well, okay then. Lily, your team. And now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise, she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Wow. There it is. Okay. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Because it wouldn't be dramatic. Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Press RB to quickly move to another nearby cover point. Oh my god, is there an actual cover system now? I do not remember that from the first game. Maybe there was. Oh no! <laughs> Lily, what's wrong? doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Ah! It's weird that this is a cutscene. It's not in-game. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you alright? I've got a wonderful family. 
an amazingly smart and beautiful wife. <laughs> this is... Why wouldn't I be all right? <laughs> Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. <laughs> this moment's a little too Are visceral. You're not coming down with something. My eyes! I shouldn't be playing this in a dark room! Fuck! Ah! <laughs> Shit! 